Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Bramble Tie, um, episode 21, back to the building work. Um, this week's vlog is um, I'm going to show you how to uh, start to install the new stone that I've been making. Obviously, I've completed one, the other ones are being uh, made at the moment as well. And uh, it's important to try and at least get that, uh, that base stone in. And that means the removal of some of the stone, some, uh, do some of the measuring and also get that um, stone ground out. Um, so I'm going to show you process by process. You may remember in January uh, we bought the stone from the local quarry. We then put it in the trailer and we got it back to Bramble Tye. Um, we then started to um, see how we could fix it together. So I did quite a lot of investigation for that. And then I showed you the process of fixing together, which has worked perfectly okay. Um, now it's actually installing the stone. So we're at the latter end of the job. Uh, this is going to be part one and uh, I think it might be about four parts before we complete the whole entrance um, but I'm going to give it a go and we'll see how we go so uh, uh, let's get on with it. Uh, you might remember a couple of weeks ago I made the former uh, to put the doorway entrance in that's the wooden thing standing there and what I've got to do is to brace that uh, so it's 90 degrees on the corners exactly and perfectly square from corner to corner from corner to corner if those two measurements add up that means it's a perfect square or a perfect rectangle anyway and we'll start to show you how that's going to go in uh, so we've got the stones already here to be worked on there's the first one I've done everything's really held up well there it's gone as uh, really better than I wanted it to there's the next stones to prepare um, we've got one already on the bench so this one hasn't been cut yet but what I have done is I've done a little sketch drawing I don't know if you can see it with the Sun on the stone um, but this is the uh, kind of thing that we're doing here it's just quite rough rudimentary drawing but it gives me those overall dimensions at the top so inside the doorway it's going to be 1.4 meters so 1400 millimeters uh, these columns are 200 mil wide so that means the overall hole size is 1800 mil uh, the wooden frame that is 1400 mil so that frame sits inside this pencil line round there theoretically that means this stone this stone here will go in square not too worried about the height at the moment because what we're going to do is we're going to put the first two stones in if I hold the camera in the other hand and get the pencil out so the first stone is going to go from the, this let's say that this is the ground floor this is the foundation and um, we're going to go up about 1.4 so that first stone is going to go there and what I'll do is I'll mirror mirror that over the other side here with another 1.4 stone or thereabouts so these will be the two stones that are going to go in first and as you can see we've got a shorter stone this is more or less uh, in the size it would be but a lot smaller to scale uh, more or less so we'll have another short stone a shorter stone here about 700 I think then we'll have two little decorative stones so these are Pianella stones and uh, that will match the the, um, the line that I did upstairs so if we focus in on the top of the work I did up there you might be able to see two stones either side that's for nothing more than decorative purposes and uh, obviously we've got the two stones to go across and then we've got the keystone to make as well um, the two stones going across and the keystone what I'll do is um, I'll wait until I've started the sides and then I'll drop a plumb line down and that will give me some degree of assurance that we're all online so <clears throat> Uh, once I have put the first two stones in from the foundation upwards and they're in exactly the right position with this former in place 
uh, then we'll start to look at the other stones but obviously special detail across the top uh, with that keystone so back to the um, back to the entrance and you'll see this this black line here um, this one here that's going to be our cutting line and obviously all the stone to the right hand side that's all going to disappear and then that's going to leave me a clean cut down this side and then that means that this stone obviously is going to be cut in half now we'll, we'll We'll find a way to deal with that so it blends in properly because that's going to have a straight line cut which is obviously going to look a bit too perfect for the stone that matches up alongside it. So it may be that we go one stage further and remove uh, this stone after it's been cut and then we put in its own individual shaped stone. So that's the left hand side of the doorway. You can just faintly see that black line. So that's just a pencil line, just a guide, a rough guide. But we've got our measurements. We've got our measurements right now. So that line is on the right hand side of the doorway. And that is, that is exactly um, 1.885 millimeters from the corner of the building to that line. And at the moment, that line is perpendicular. So it's perfectly lined up. And that will be the line that takes us up to the the steel girders but it's the line we're going to be working to so i'll get that line cut with the grinder that's going to be a messy business so i'm going to keep the camera a distance away um, and you'll be able to see that getting cut i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry. Okay, so next stage is uh, What we've done is we've measured two lines from the outer wall uh, they're, they're rough lines um, This is approximately where the stone is going to go somewhere here but I've got a tolerance of about 20 to 30 millimeters so that um, you'll see how that works that tolerance but we're going to need it if you try and jam everything in too tightly those stones are never going to go in there so I've put a spray line from top to bottom this is my exact measured line this pencil line so I'm just the other side of that pencil line which I'm going to start cutting with a diamond cutter so I'm going to actually put a line down here this side of this pencil line because most of these stones this side are, are going to change we're going to take I'll, I'll once I've got the cut in there we I can then um, assess which stones are going to come out and which stones are going to stay in but I imagine most of the these are going to come out and I'll reset them and what I've done is the other side is exactly the same thing So we've got, I've put a, more, a four metre straight edge straight up to the top so it's in line with the, the opening up above. Again I've got my orange line and inside that orange line you'll see a dark line. We can just see the pencil I think Steve. Yeah no that's yeah. okay, that's okay. It doesn't have to be exact anyway. I know it sounds a bit strange me saying that. Um, but you can imagine there needs to be quite a lot of tolerance for these stones to go in. What needs to be exact is the entrance opening within mm -hmm. that wooden framework. And, and the inner orange line that I can see this one. on the picture, yes. This is the old line. Right, that was the this, old this line. This was the old line to take out, but roughly the stones we needed to get out without destabilising the whole wall. Okay. And now these are, these are the ones I'm going to work on. So You're going to remove. All these are going to go, but they're not going to go all the way through to the other side as you'll find out but just keep watching and you'll see how I'm going to do this uh, so I'm going to start the other side first I've got a master stick on goggles and uh, ear defenders I think so uh, keep with me uh, 
let me know about how that battery goes. Okay. Just give me a tap on the shoulder or something if it's... Uh, if so, it's... so we're just preparing Darth Vader at this moment in time. You can probably see we've got the... Well, we haven't quite yet, but we're going to get it on. What happened there? Loose There's a there. lot of bits that Steve's putting on because obviously, as you can imagine, a lot of dust comes from this, doesn't it, Steve? Yeah, this is going to get messy. Um, the dust will pour out and there's a bit of wind floating around at the moment as well um, which doesn't necessarily help because you, you don't really know which way the stuff's going to go I'll just stand back a little bit then should I? well yeah just, just yeah. measure what you, you think you know obviously we'd like to get some close up yeah I'd like there. to get a close up of what you look well, like I feel as I'm going <laughs> where are you here. going? <laughs> well, I, I love it snorkel. I love it me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows No, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away I had to move back for the dust. I should try and show that line now for you. Right, so I guess that gives you an idea. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Like I said, it can, it's got a bit of this to it, a bit of tolerance in there. Um, but that just gives me a guideline now. And uh, we'll start removing not, not too much of that stone. Obviously the thickness of the stone that is going to sit in there is three inches. So it's about 75 mil, less 15 mil, because that's the bit that's protruding. You'll get where I'm coming from when I start showing you. So stick with me on this one, 60 <laughs> mil. So I need to be 60 mil deep into this wall with that grinder. Oh gosh. Right, then I have to go this way. Yes. But I'm not going this way with a grinder. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is, naturally, I'll take that stone out. Yeah, you can see that these I'll ones may come out. out easier. Everything that wants to come out, I'll take out. Yeah. These little ones, I'll take out. I don't want to go down too deep, because otherwise you're taking all the wall away again. And you don't right. want to do that. So what I'm going to be left with, as you can see, some stones I'm going to have to chop in, chop in half and then chop that way as well. That's just the way it is. Get a big sledgehammer and a big chisel on that, and that'll crack that straight open. Uh, here, what we can do is put a chisel and a hammer. Oh, and just, just tap it way out. And just start to, it'll just naturally go because it's already got a cut line. Okay. It will that. It will actually uh, sort of crack. Yeah, that pressure with a big cold chisel, as soon as you start tapping away, it just splits straight in one straight line. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. Mm. We don't have a plan B, uh, so this is plan A. Um, but this is how I imagined it to go right from when I started doing okay. all this. And if you stick the um, if you stick the camera in here, while well, there's no dust floating around, you can see all these are going to go. And this is starting to get prepared to take those uh, steel um, spigots, and all then right. we're going to put steel mesh around this side and around that side. So that means if you look down below, all this, all this lot. All that, that's all got to be a flat edge and at the moment they're like big teeth boulders coming out so there's nothing flat about it whatsoever until you get up to here which if you remember that was the window wasn't it that, that, was, rebuilt? that was the inside part of the window yeah yeah so there's there's quite a lot of work to do not as much as uh, you take the camera back as it might look 
Um, but it's just really trying to not destabilise this wall, not do it, not do it any damage, mm. any more damage than it needs to be done. But obviously, because we've got the girders in um, from the beginning, which is quite a big job, that's what's stabilising the wall. Yeah, but I still don't want to start to put, you know, big cutter machines. Up right. Like that is a that's a clean cut that okay. goes through this more or less like butter. But it's not vibrating the water pieces. Right. If we put on a big motor picker, a heavy machine, it's going to start. Mm -hmm. And the motor really picker, a vibration through the wall, which is dangerous. Right. And the motor picker was that big machine that we were using to remove uh, the stones for the girders earlier, wasn't it? Yeah. The only thing here to do now is to do this with a, ha uh, a hammer, and a chisel, club hammer, and a chisel, and right, just do okay. the hard work on it, really. Um, and that's all it needs. And then you'll see quite quickly, we'll start to get a flat edge that we can put the stone in and also deal with that frame. Mm. But this is first, this part is second. Yeah. Okay, I think you're back with me. Uh, so what I wanted to do, uh, like I said, that grinder, is to get a 60mm slot put in this wall. So, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Uh, exactly 60mm. So that's gone from top to bottom. And now I'm going to start to remove um, the quantity of stone that's 60mm deep. And technically, that should give me my face side for which this stone is going to sit onto. So that's what I'm going to start doing next. So I'm just going to start easing a few of these out. Uh, I don't know whether you can see those big ones sitting there. Yeah, these ones here. Uh, they don't need to be in the air anymore. That doesn't need to be, that doesn't need to be. So what I'll do is I'll take the easy ones out, which is all this lot, and then uh, I'll see if I can get the chiseling that way from the inside. Uh, which means that some of this might start pinging out.
all the demons quiet Yeah, we were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet Yeah, we were built to thrive, yeah
Okay, so that's a bit of a dry fit, just to see if that stone fits in okay. Certainly this space is okay. Uh, there's one or two minor pieces. What I'm going to do is, I'll leave the stone there, it's chopped up at the moment, and I'm going to come and get the camera and uh, just show you a little bit closer how that fits in. So, if you come with me, we are uh, so on top of the stone, I think that's getting it, that's what it looks like. If you haven't subscribed, obviously that's a good time to subscribe, but uh, here's the tolerance space I left down the side, and that will become fairly obvious how we start to fit all that in. It looks pretty straight, so I've put the level on it, and uh, it's not looking too bad. A couple of uh, where are you? Um, that's on the stone up the side of the wall, so that seems okay. Uh, the stone's not leaning forward in any way. Behind, what we'll see is. Uh, is obviously that stone has now got to be fixed into that wall. So what we'll do is we'll fit some um, some steel rebar drilled, uh, chemicaled into the stone we've just made, and then that rebar will go in to the wall in two or three places. And obviously at the top here there'll be uh, two uh, access holes for the next uh, stone to go on top. With some uh, with some spigots in, steel spigots, and they will access into them holes and then get chemicaled in. So all this will get glued together. Before we do that, we'll we'll try and get this these first two in on the left and right hand side, and then uh, we'll start to um, get a plumb line down from the top. So obviously the next stone runs in line exactly. Obviously the important line to run to is the face line. So this one. And the second most important is this one. And uh, yeah, not to, not coming out too badly at the moment. Just got to keep going with this. Um, it's gone in fairly straightforward, really. Uh, it doesn't take much to get the stones out as long as you've got the tools. And uh, in this case, I'm pretty happy with it. If you do like what you've seen, if you can subscribe, it helps the channel grow, which is what Lynn and I want it to do. Ding the bell and tick the light box, uh, we would be most appreciative.